Hey, science fans! Today, we're going to test the Mpemba effect. Does hot water really freeze faster than cold water? Well, we're going to find out, but I need your help. There's a strange effect that's been observed for thousands of years, that hot water appears, in some cases, to freeze faster than cold water. In fact, even Aristotle noticed this when he said, the fact that the water has previously been warmed contributes to its freezing quickly, for so it cools sooner. And he's not alone. Many other notable scientists, including Francis Bacon and René Descartes, have reported observing the same effect. It came to be known as the Mpemba effect, after a Tanzanian student named Erasto Mapemba reported seeing it in a class that he was doing in 1963. His class was making ice cream, and in a hurry to get his ice cream into the freezer, he didn't wait for it to cool from 100 degrees Celsius. He put it right into the freezer. The other students waited until their mixture had cooled to 35 degrees Celsius. And yet, to everybody's surprise, his mixture had frozen into ice cream first. This ignited research into one of the coolest topics of physics today. This is a really easy experiment for you to do at home. All you need are two containers the same size and shape, a measuring cup, some cold water, and some hot water. Kids, ask your parents for help with this step. So I'm gonna take one cup of cold water and pour it into my jar. Just like that. And I'm going to take one cup of hot water. And pour it into my jar. And now we just need to let these sit outside in the cold and wait to see what happens. I'm back and my water is completely frozen. I performed this experiment three separate times, and in all three cases, not only did the cold water begin to freeze first, but the cold water also froze completely before the hot water did. So what's going on? How come some people report observing this effect and others aren't able to replicate it at all? Well, this is an excellent question. And in 2012, the Royal Society of Chemistry offered a challenge to anybody that could explain this. More than 22,000 people from around the world submitted their explanations, and the winner, Nikola Bergovich, had the most compelling reasons. However, subsequent experiments have shown that these results aren't easily reproducible, even within a laboratory. In fact, most of the time, the researchers have concluded that any evidence that does show the Mpemba effect uh, is well within the margin of error for the experiment. If the Mpemba effect is real, then some of the possible explanations could be evaporation. As the hot water evaporates off, there's simply less of it to freeze, and that might result in it freezing faster. Other solutions include convection, where the hot water circulates better within the jar and contributes to freezing. Or there's also the possibility of supercooling being a possible explanation. This is something that happens to water especially, where even though it's supposed to freeze at zero degrees Celsius, the temperature will actually dip below zero degrees Celsius before it begins to freeze. Perhaps the hot water is freezing right at zero degrees Celsius, and the cold water is dipping below that before it turns to ice. Are you disappointed that we weren't able to get a clear explanation for this effect with this experiment? Well, this is a great reminder that science isn't about getting the answers. It's about asking why and trying new things. Just as 13-year-old Erasto Mampemba observed that his ice cream froze faster than his friend's ice cream and continued to ask why, perhaps you will be the person that finally discovers the correct set of procedures and variables to prove an effect that has stumped some of the greatest scientific minds of all time. <laughs>